Everyone. Welcome back to Easy Math with Miss Easley. Today we're going to tackle multiplication and we're really going to make sure we understand what it is as we move into some different strategies that can really help. So let's dig in. Okay, so the first thing I want to make sure we just understand what multiplication is. So whenever I see a problem like this, I think about groups of. So I always say that when I get to the multiplication symbol, I say groups of. So let's practice with this first one. So we see two groups of three. And so we can then draw it and figure out what that is. What's the total? Okay, great. You got six. All right, now let's try that with four times five, or like I like to say, four groups of five. Okay, what do you get? What's the total there in my picture? Okay, great, 20. And then the last one I'll do just to kind of get an idea is six groups of four. What do you see in my picture? Okay, awesome, 24. Okay, now that we get the hang of that, we can try some bigger problems. All right, so here's a larger problem for us. It's a two digit number times a one digit number. So this one says 23 times four. But what I like to think about it is that it could be 23 groups of four, or we could say it the opposite way. We could say four groups of 23. That would actually be the easier way to draw it. So let's practice with drawing some of these problems. So if it's four groups, how many circles should I draw? Okay, great, you're right, four. So let's draw four circles together and then we're gonna fill them with 23. Okay, you draw it with me. Okay, as you can see, I always draw with base 10 block drawings because then it will be faster for me to count what's in all of the circles. If I draw longs for my tens, then it's gonna be really quick to add up those tens. So let's do, let's make sure you do that in your drawing also. Okay, and then it's just a matter of counting up all of these base 10 blocks to find the total. Okay, can you count them up? Why don't you pause the video and see if you can get a total. All right, let's check your work. So when you counted up the tens, I bet you did something like this, 20, 40, 60, 80. I'll go ahead and write that down. And then when you counted up the ones, you probably said three, six, nine, 12. And you will write that down too. And then what's the total of 80 plus 12? Okay, great, 92. So 92 is the answer to 23 times four, great job. All right, then I thought it would be really good to see side by side another strategy that goes with multiplication and we can see how it is related to drawing equal groups. So we're gonna try something called the area model. So we draw a rectangle, so you can draw one just like me Okay, then I'm gonna split it in half um, because one of my numbers is a two digit number. And so we're gonna make two parts for that number. Okay, now as we're labeling this number, we can be saying, okay, how can I split up my 23 by its place value? What is that two really worth? Okay, great, it's worth 20. So we're gonna put 20 in one section and that three is just worth three because it's just in the ones place. So we'll put three on the other part. And we're multiplying both of those by four because that was the other um, part of my problem. Okay, so we'll put four there. And now we can work on each section of the rectangle. So the first section is gonna be four times that 20. 
Okay, so what do you think is 4 times 20? You can be thinking about counting by 20s 4 times. You can also be thinking about your two facts, two, four, and then stick a zero on the end. Okay, you got it, 80. Now, the, the last section is thinking about four times three. So what do you think about four times three or four groups of three? You can count by threes also. Okay, awesome, 12, we're gonna put 12 in there. I already see a connection that we can make between the area model and the equal groups drawing. Does anyone see that? Okay, awesome. Yeah, when we counted up the longs, we got 80. When we counted up the ones, we got 12. So it already looks very similar. Okay, now in the area model, what do you think we would do next? We've got both parts of our area model filled in. What do you think we would do to find the total answer? Okay, awesome. Adding just like the other strategy. So we're gonna do 80 plus 12 and you got it. It's 92. So we get the same answer on both strategies. Great job. Okay, our next problem is 56 times three or think about groups of. So we could say 56 groups of three or three groups of 56. I would much rather draw just three circles, so I'm gonna think about it that way. Okay, so let's draw our three circles, and I want you to pause the video, see if you can fill them in with 56. Okay, awesome, see if your circles look like mine. They have 56 with base 10 blocks in each circle, and now what we need to do is start counting up those longs. So sometimes I like to just count each one and say 10, 20, 30, 40. You could do it like that. Or if you want to count all of them up, just one by one, um, you can do that too and figure out how much the total is. So see if you can figure that out. How, how much do my longs represent? Okay, awesome. It's 150. So let's write that number down. Now we can count up the ones like we did last time. So count those up. How many did you get? Okay, we had those three groups of six dots, which equals 18. Okay, let's write that one down too. And then what do we do to find the answer to this problem? Okay, awesome. Just like last time, we're gonna add up those two numbers. Make sure you've got them lined up by their place value before you add. And all right, let's see what we get. Okay, awesome, 168. Now let's try building an area model for this one too. Let's see if it works for a bigger problem like this. So draw your rectangle and I'm going to have a, uh, split it up into two parts since we have a two digit number. And how would I write 56 with place value? Okay, awesome. The five is really worth 50 since it's in the tens place. So we're gonna put 50 there. We're gonna put six on the other part and we're multiplying this by three. So we're gonna put three on the side. All right, now let's see if you can pause the video and start this problem, you might want to look at your equal groups to help you with the strategy. And then we'll come back and check our work. All right, see if your work matches mine. I'm also seeing connections again this time between the equal groups picture and the area model. It's so awesome that they go together. Okay, so now in this problem also, our total answer is 168. Great job. All right, so here's one more problem, and I want you to choose which of those strategies you like the best. So pick one, pick, pick either equal groups or area model, see if you can find the answer, and then we'll come back and check your work. All right, here you go. Here's my work on both strategies. 
and see what you think. Which one did you pick? And uh, did everything work out just like mine? All right, great work today, everyone. I hope this helps you in your math class or at home. And I hope you enjoy. Have a great day.